Hey everybody, it's Beth. Welcome to Infinite Garden. Today I thought I'd share with you a slideshow of my gray hair transition process for the last 17 months. I've taken a zillion selfies during this time and I want to share with you what the process looks like this far in. This is a picture I had a professional headshot that was taken at the end of December 2020 and this is how I was wearing my hair before. You can see I was pretending to be a blonde. It looks pretty good but it was a maintenance nightmare and in January 2020 here I am in the salon. This is my last appointment where I covered my gray hair. I almost didn't do it which is why I took this picture but I did this so this is the last time I covered my hair in January 2020 in February 2020 I had another appointment but this time I only had highlights and I did not cover my gray hair so I really think this kind of begins here and here we go with my selfie show this is a picture of me in my office before I was sent home to work from home and you can see here is what the that gray hair um, growth looks like and how scraggly my hair is. I got a haircut shortly after this picture. So month two here, the pandemic hits. You can see the stress in my eyes. I wanted to include it just for historical reasons. But by month two, you can already see quite a lot of gray growth and you can still see the strain in my eye in this photo. But the hair is growing. In month three, I started to relax a little bit about the pandemic and about the gray hair. You can see I've got a little more advanced growth here. You can generally see, I hope, that my, my mood was starting to improve a bit as well. Month four, it's really starting to come in. My hair grows fast and I was seeing progress early. Here's a front and a back image showing how it was coming in. You can see my hair is pretty solidly gray throughout. In month five, summer came. You can see how brassy my blonde looks now and how bright and brilliant the gray is. And here it is, both blown out and curly. The blonde just looks so brassy here. It's kind of cringy. Month six, I really could start to see what my hair was going to look like once it was done. When I pulled it back like this, I got a much clearer sense of how it would impact the way my eyes and skin and makeup would look. And I was really starting to get comfortable with it. Month seven was my birthday month, and here I am after a haircut where I had um, a lot of length taken off and toner put in, and here I am enjoying a nice glass of beet juice. I bought a juicer over the pandemic and went to town on that. In month eight, that's when I, here's me without makeup, but month eight is about when I started kind of going crazy, trying out different lipsticks and makeup to see what my makeup routine would be like once I had silver hair. I was playing with bold lips and muted lips, sheens and mattes, I was really having a blast with makeup. By month nine, you can see my hair starting to get pretty long again, and I'm really beginning to see how the gray looks throughout in either way. You can see here I've got a couple different lipstick shades on here. Here's a pink and then there's a terracotta. In month 10, I went ahead and got another haircut. You can see that a little bit here and you can see that I think overall I'm starting to get really, really comfortable with, with my hair. Month 11, December, Christmas time. It's, this was a weird Christmas, of course, this year, um, but here I am. You can see I've got several inches of gray growth and it's really clear what my pattern looks like. New year, new me, here's January 2021. You can see how uh, the multicolor effect is. Here I am by my favorite Bob Dylan poster, kind of riffing off of the colorful hair concept. If you look here on month 13, my hair is really starting to look almost more gray than it is blonde. You can see how bright my gray hair is. I mean, this was already platinum blonde, but the gray is way brighter than the blonde. By month 14, I'm getting ready for another cut. My hair is starting to look pretty scraggly. You know, the ends are bleached and I use heat processing, so my hair is starting to look a little bedraggled here in month 14. In month 15, I actually go ahead and I do get a cut. Um, I also have a video about this day when I got my hair cut. I'll put a card up there so you can see that if you wanna check it out. But here, I love this picture with the stripe in the front. By month 16, here I am, look at this smile. I'm really starting to feel 
the joy of this transition here. And you know, when I pull my hair back, it looks almost entirely white. I'm starting to notice now it's not just barely there. Month 16, we're back in June. It's summertime, I'm wearing my hair curly a little more often. I think the straight hair shot is pretty good where you can see the progress. And here I am just enjoying how fun this looks when I'm in curly mode. And here's another great shot of how brilliant it is. It's almost month 18, just a couple of days away. And I wanted to say thanks. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Thanks. Talk to you soon, guys.